Mrs. Smith, the Fearher's wife is down in the lobby. Oh. Um. Go. The Reich Marshal's wife? I'm afraid she's indisposed at the moment. You are dismissed. Marguerite. Ah, we, we weren't expecting you until this evening. My husband's dietary restrictions. Of course. W would you care for some tea? Stimulants clouds the mind. Once my day is full, I do not have the luxury of lazing around until noon. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning for exercise, after which I take a cold plunge. Over breakfast, I review my husband's schedule and edit his speeches. And by 9 a.m., I am in my office as Colonel of the Reich Red Cross. And so I begin my day. <laughs> How will you begin your day? I'm looking forward to preparing our dinner. Hmm. Frankly, I am concerned about you, Helen. You seem tired. And you've been away an entire year? A sick relative. Yes. My brother, Hank. Ah. And your husband approves of your long absences? Well, he was with us when the demands of the Reich would allow. Your behavior and absence has not been what Sophia expects from the Reich Marshal's wife, especially in such vexofallen Satan. I'm afraid I'm not fluent enough. Changing seasons. To which changes are you referring? Oh, maybe you have been away too long tending to this sick relative. Well, he has completely recovered. Ah. No need for concern. I am back now. Good. I am glad we had this talk. One's health is one's most valuable possession. My miracle of my husband's health is the talk of Berlin. <laughs> Seine Liebenskraftstadt. <sighs> Übersetzen Sie. His sap still rises. Heil Himmler, Madam Smith. Heil Himmler. the evening, Helen. Auf Wiedersehen. 